Good morning, everybody. So uh, I'm inside my tent here and just having a little breakfast. Uh, I got my puppy on today. Uh, it was a little bit chilly. I'm camped right by the river. Uh, there's a river on that side of my tent. And uh, I have made some coffee today, a little peanut butter, uh, honey bun in the morning. And I got a couple things ready for the hike uh, here. And uh, next town is going to be Hamburg. So, uh, all my things here. Should be getting ready in the next 20 minutes. But yeah, next town will be Hamburg. And uh, I got 41.3 miles to go, or somewhere around 40 and some change miles to go. So I got to make it out there in um, two days. So I'll, I'll try to do a longer one today to leave for a shorter one. Um, hopefully I can catch up. Nope. Uh, I'm not sure how far ahead he is because I have no reception out here. So um, I was going to do... Uh, Bigger miles yesterday. I was gonna do 20 something at least but ended up uh, My feet were just kind of getting tired. I found this really nice camp spot and um, Set up my tent and basically just hung around, hung around here. I still had probably uh, three hours of hiking time But I decided to call it a day So yeah, that was that um, There's hikers coming in uh, both directions to the shelter right now people are leaving and stuff like that and south bounders are coming in um, I got a perfect view of the shelter is out that way and here's where I'm at um, mile 11 76 um, as you can see the PA elevation um, all pretty pretty flattish for the most part the lines aren't nothing nothing too crazy it's just the rocks that you kind of got to deal with but I got 11 1176 and I'm trying to make it to see I already have it written down here resupply here Hamburg PA which is uh, 1218 Hamburg PA and you can uh, go right into town via uh, side trail I think it's all pretty flat here, so I got um, just a, a little bit over 40 miles to go, and I'm going to split this up into two days. Um, we'll see how that goes. I think there's a micro hotel in Hamburg, so I'm going to be heading out in a couple minutes here. going to try to figure out what my resupply is going to be at Hamburg, and uh, yep, yeah, we got a... Uh, we got a lot of uh, nice scenery out here, beautiful rivers, uh, just uh, it's looking great so far. Um, weather's been great yesterday, um, but yeah, I will be pushing for a longer day, even though it's already getting close to 8. Um, I'll have to do longer miles today to do a shorter day into uh, Hamburg tomorrow. So.
Hey guys, just stopped uh, to enjoy this little lookout view here in Pennsylvania. Um, it's been a lot of rocks lately, and that's what people kind of warn you about uh, to be careful on the rocks. So, uh, one of the things you definitely gotta watch out uh, some of them will move. Um, so, when you're stepping from rock to rock, uh, you really gotta watch your footing um, as you make your way across the AT. Some sections will have uh, quite a few rocks, but some will just have a, a little section for like you know three five minutes, and then it's back to normal trails. So, so far not horrible, but it is getting rocky out here. So, I'll uh, taking my little 15 minute break here, and I'm gonna keep keep moving moving up the trail. There's a 501 shelter. There's the plaque. Do you guys have trail names? Smurf. There's Smurf. And Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thanks. And here's a little inside view. We're getting real food tomorrow, so. <laughs> ah, okay, let's see. Route 501 shelter. Hey guys, we got to check out the famous 501 uh, pizza shelter. Um, it's an enclosed shelter, so that was kind of cool seeing the, um, the nice 501 fully enclosed, you know, shelter with all the bunks and stuff like that. And I wasn't expecting it to be like that, so that was kind of cool. And there was two uh, through hikers in there. Um, you'll, see, you know, I'm sure you've seen them in the video clip there when I was shooting the, the shelter and all that. And there was a flip flopper um, hiker there too, so that was definitely cool to hang out with a couple hikers there for a little bit. And I'm gonna keep going. Um, it's getting a little cold outside, so I'll be putting on my jacket soon, but definitely getting more miles in. Um, and Nope's ahead of me right now, so we'll see uh, what kind of miles I can put in to hopefully get into town tomorrow, so that'd be good. Hey guys, uh, a lot of rocks here all over the place. Um, just step for a little break here. Um, I'll keep pushing the miles. Uh, I only got about two hours of uh, light left, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. Definitely gonna be night hiking. Uh, rain is on its way, so uh, I'm gonna try to see how far I can get. Um, you know, that trail magic was great, so <laughs> that's a sign to do bigger miles uh, and night hike. Um, got the energy from the salad, so I'm hoping it's not super rocky further down and you know I can do a bigger day today um, we'll see how it goes see you guys down the trail bye hey guys uh, so it's 2 p.m. Uh, May 5th 2017 and it just stopped raining um, this is uh, the view you see here is the Port Clinton uh, train station uh, beautiful looking trains I can see the that's the view train they got the seats on top there and uh, something like that would be pretty nice uh, to go through like Montana or areas like that and see the mountains and uh, maybe that's even the restaurant area of the train but yeah this is a nice nice spot um, basically rolled in here from the campsite uh, got my tent took my tent down getting poured on just rain heavy rain um, pouring down and it did not quit raining for a while this is the bike path here that goes into the town of Hamburg um, so yeah we got rained on well not we got I was tenting by myself but I got rained on pretty heavy and nope uh, he knocked out two 30s in a row and another big day and I fell back um, 
like mile wise so he rolled in here uh, around 7 p.m. and he basically he's zeroing so I'm catching up uh, only because uh, you know this weather because I, I had to hike in this shitty weather but uh, he took a zero and um, he's at the micro hotel uh, waiting for me he went to the Cabela's restaurant and all that so um, yeah I'm gonna I'll be I'm just probably gonna have a, a little snack a tuna snack and uh, I'm gonna head over to the micro hotel and meet up with nope and uh, shower and all that stuff and hopefully uh, go to a couple restaurants over there and then we're gonna resupply and stuff like that so it looks like uh, Chris is over there too and uh, maybe some other hikers so uh, it's looking nice right now everything's green but the rain did not stop until about half an hour ago so yeah Bella's RV parking and there's the biggest Cabela's in the world I've been to Cabela's before, but this is the first of the biggest giant Cabela. We got all kinds of happy campers making their way into it. We'll do a little uh, resupply here and uh, just check out all the wonderful crap they got inside. Looks like they got a bunch of kayaks over there. So that should be oh yeah kayaks all over the day mm-hmm looks nice nice layout huge huge parking check it out